Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to perform Logic JMS configuration. So first of all, let's go to the uh, install Logic installation directory. So I had installed Logic in F drive that is fo folder is called Logic. Inside this, you have a user projects. So go to the inside this and we have a domains inside the domain you have a different domain which we had created so in past video tutorial we had created a domain is called domain one so let's go to inside this and inside this domain we have a directory is called bean inside bean directory let's open a command prompt by writing the cmd so this is the command prompt i have opened and that is currently pointing to the uh, domain one bean directory and here we have a cmd command to start wave logic so we will have to write start w and press tab so this will come up come out so start wave logic dot cmd and press enter and uh, now wave logic is going to start this will take a few seconds to start wave logic once status of the wave logic turns into running mode then we'll open wave logic into some uh, browser right so i have a chrome so here i'm going to open uh, uh, web logic and administrator console so let's wait for a few seconds now you can see the console server state changed to running mode now let's open uh, administrator console on the browser so let's write http colon slash slash localhost 7001 slash console and this is the so now uh, administrator console is getting open so let's now here you need to specify the username and password uh, which you had given while installing the weblogic server so my username is weblogic and password is weblogic1 click on the login once you log in then you can see the administrator console and here you have you can see uh, this section is called services inside the services you have a messaging and messaging has a different subsections right so in this video tutorial we are going to see how to create a JMS server as well as JMS models uh, this things you, you can get it over here and it, same thing you can get it from here as well domain structure you can click on the services in under the services you have a messaging and this menu is also at level here so you can go from either from here or there doesn't matter so let's click on the JMS server so first of all we are going to create a JMS server right which will be responsible to uh, handle all JMS component right so here i'm not going to dig into the jms uh, basic stuffs like what is uh, jms uh, and what is q topic connection factory etc i will request you to go this uh, basic concept here i'll focus on how to set up the jms servers and how to create uh, connection factory topics queue etc so let's click on the new so we have a new button so let's click on the new to create a jms server and here I'm going to specify a uh, JMS server name you will have to specify. So I'm going to specify a uh, JMS server name basically that depends on your organization or project. So based on that you specify your JMS server name. Uh, web service also provides some default names but I will uh, recommend you to don't rely on the default name as per your project name or uh, project domain you can specify your uh, JMS server name so I have a specified info JMS server and uh, keep everything as default and click on the next now here um, when you click on the next and in this section we have we have to create a new store a uh, new store you may be a file system or database so if you are working on a cluster environment then there is highly possible we'll have a separate database so here we are going to adhere with the file store system so click on the cl create a new store 
and here new store you have a different options right like file store uh, jdbc store and uh, replicated store so here i am going to adhere with the file store now click on the next now here you will have to specify a file store name so file store name i'm going to specify info file store name again this depends on your project what is your project based on the that you would like to name your file store and rest of the things i'm going to uh, keep as it is now click on the next and here saying that jms file store targets so that already we have created so uh, JMS file store we have created and target server you need to select so I'm going to I have a admin server and two managed server server 1 and server 2 so I would like to uh, here choose admin server as a target server so let's select admin server now click on the finish now our uh, admin server uh, sorry uh, JMS server is created successfully alright so now here you can see the option uh, file store success uh, created successfully sorry now persistence storage you will have to select which we had created earlier that is info file store now click on the next now here again you will have to select the target server so admin server again and click on the finish now you can see the message success message jms server created successfully right all changes has been activated no restart are necessary that is saying okay now jms server successfully we have created now uh, we'll have to create jms module now so either you can click over here jms modules or you can navigate to the your uh, home page by clicking over here so you navigate here and you can click over here uh, like jms module right now we are going to create a jms module so what is basically jms module uh, actually jms module is nothing but the system resources are configured and stored as a module similar to a standard java e modules so you can see the description over here uh, such resources include queues topic connection factory etc so basically jms module is basically responsible to manage the resources like queues topic and to queues topic connection fact factory etc so let's click on the new to create a jms module and here you can specify your jms module name so here i'm going to specify jms module name uh, info system module and uh, rest of the things i'm going to keep as it is uh, default one and click on the next now here you need to select the target server so everything i'm going to deploy on the admin server so i have selected admin server now click on the next now here saying that uh, add resources to this jms system modules and here i'm going to up select this option would you like to add resources to this jms system modules? so this will automatically add the uh, uh, system resources into the jms module right so that's why i have selected this option and click on the finish okay now now we have a jms module uh, is created successfully now in this jms module we are going to create some resources to create some resources first resource i'm going to create a connection factory to create a connection factory we'll have to click on the new button so let's click on the new and here we have a very first option is called connection factory right so if you want to know about the what the connection factory then press control and click on this more info so server is going to open in the new tab itself new and here you will get the entire description about the what is connection factory queue topic distributed queue everything they have given in detail right so now i'm going to close this and come back here so let's create a connection factory and once you choose the connection factory then click on the next and here you will have to specify your connection factory name so connection factory name i'm going to specify info connection fact connection factory and something is called jndi right that's very important because this jndi we are going to use in our code so jndi name i'm going to use com dot info sorry 
com slash info slash info connection factories so this is just like a package you can give the simple name like info this name and this name you can keep the similar but uh, here gndi i'm going to specify in little different way like a package right and uh, here keep everything as a default and click on the next now you need to then add means why this is automatically selected because while creating the jms module we had selected the target module as admin module so this is selected uh, this is going to deploy on the uh, jms module which, which and there we had selected the target server as the admin modules now click on the finish so we have created successfully connection factory now again we need to create a new uh, resource like uh, now i'm going to select distributed queue i'm going to create a queue now click on the next now here uh, queue name i'm going to specify info and jndi for queue i'm going to specify com slash info slash info distributed queue and this thing i would keep as it is and click on the next and target server already selected admin server now finished so this way we have created our distributed queue as well right now let's create another resource is called topic distributed topic we are going to uh, create this so select distributed topic now click on the next and here you need to specify the distributed topic name so i'm going to specify name as info distributed topic and jndi name for topic is com slash info slash info distributed topic keep everything as default click on the next and now targeted server is admin and click admin server click on the finish now we have created our distributed topic as well so all resources is uh, created and that is added in the jms module itself right so if you want to navigate on the admin console then click over here on the top and here you have an option is called servers click on the servers and uh, click on this admin server where we have targeted our uh, jms module and here you can see the view uh, jndi tree if you call click on the view jndi tree then you can see your jndi which has created you can, here the, those resources is added com dot info tech tech info tech connection factory info sorry info connection factory info distributed queue info distributed topic so in this video tutorial i have shown you how to create how to set up configuration for jms so in next video tutorial we are going to use uh, these three resources like connection factory distributed queue and distributed topic and we'll see how we can post uh, we can publish messages on the queue and how to consume from the queue and topic right so that's all i have in this video tutorial thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial